So how do they truly feel about you right now? Let's start off with these messages cards. We have you are the messenger of truth. And this has come out with on my knees. Wow. So they find you to be incredible. And this connection is totally out of this world. It's absolutely mind blowing because you are awakening this person so much and you are awakening also, okay? They absolutely love that they are able to be this amazing catalyst for you, for each other, to awaken so profoundly. This person, they've always been soul searching way before they even met you. This is within their nature, okay? They were doing this from birth, from childhood, always connecting with the high dimensions. Most likely it was more subconsciously in the past, but you've really brought this into so much more conscious awareness within them. You help them understand themselves, understand reality way beyond this false matrix and their um, skipping with joy okay they've got a constant smile on their face they feel heaven on earth they love and adore you completely they are on their knees in complete awe okay this person they really look up to you they find you to be like no other very kind very nurturing speaking from your heart the messenger of god the messenger of divine wow how else do they truly feel about you? We have enemies are falling. Wow. So some of you, you've had some opposition in this connection, some shadow, some obstacles, um, interference, but the power of this love, it's the truth. It, it sheds light on darkness and turns it into the light. You are both protected. This connection is protected by love, the most powerful force. You are massively helping this person to become self-empowered in that love and no longer fearing so much this harsh false matrix or others around them. They're able to embrace themselves, love themselves, feel protected to be who they really are. So this is huge breakthroughs happening right now. Them opening them, their heart initially to themselves like never before. And therefore they are opening their heart towards you. They're being more spontaneous with their expression of who they really are. Um, these enemies or these fears they had in the past about what people think is much more like water off a duck's back now. They are really plugged into the divine, knowing their worth, knowing they are so loved by the divine through this incredible connection that you share. <clears throat> How else do they truly feel? Yeah, the Empress. They're on their knees. I don't want to say this and it sounds like really arrogant or egotistical, but they are like on their knees, like really looking up to you. It's like they kiss the ground that you walk on and you do the same with them, okay? You are like the Empress and the Emperor, the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine. Um. You know, it's important for our ego to not get too involved in this, but um, they see you as this divine, beautiful, feminine energy. You give birth to life. You give birth to truth. And um, they feel a lot of desire for you. Like they just feel um, like they're in their true divine masculine nature with you. You really spark this within each other. You feel like your true selves. You feel therefore most attractive because you feel the best about yourselves. And they just look to you for guidance, direction, comfort, to feel safe in this harsh, false matrix, to feel, feel safe and guided on this path to the intensification of truth, aligning with the truth, being more open, more vulnerable, shedding the falseness. Yeah, look, you are the messenger of truth, the ace of swords. They see you as very courageous, speaking from your heart, speaking from your soul. 
this is contagious okay they're realizing so much this is the sword that cuts through the clouds of illusion cuts through the veil of illusion to reveal the truth and the truth is love the truth is they are safe they are nurtured this is making a, an absolutely monumental difference in their life okay they're understanding that death isn't even real um because the truth is the infinite enemies are falling interesting we're having anxieties beneath this so your person has been fearful of any kind of opposition or interference. Um, your person has been worried about you. If you've been dealing with any enemies or any shadow or darkness, this person, they want to race in and protect you, okay? On my knees, I'm also seeing that as they are dedicated to you in terms of they are wanting to protect you, protect your energies. You're both in this divine womb of protection. It is that bubble of love that's transporting you out of the false matrix into the truth. Um, very much worried about you. Very much, uh, they, they deeply care about your well-being. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles, this is that dedication to your union, dedication to this journey. They could be surrounded by a lot of people, but they spend a lot of alone time thinking about you. They're very loyal towards you with these two dogs here. Um, this is someone that is very nurturing, very loving, and it's like their true nature is flourishing, it's blooming, they're opening and expressing this more. Planting the seeds in your connection um, of so much positivity. They're in a lot of fear and anxiety as well because a lot of things that aren't serving them are crumbling. There's tower moments here. It's very scary. But they feel like they can cope with this because they know you have this bond. They know you are right here with them. You are standing right next to them. You are holding each other's hands through this complete metamorphosis that you're going through. This is the journey back home to um, the higher dimensions. This is like the hermit energy here with the igloo as well. They're going inwards a lot. They do fear loss of this connection. This is something that plagues their mind. But these enemies of their own thoughts are falling as well. Look, falling cups. That which isn't serving enemies, anything that isn't serving is a block, is falling. They are pining for you so much. The moon is that all of the subconscious conditioning is coming up to be processed and released. It does bring up a lot of triggers, a lot of fears. There's a fear of the unknown here, but this is normally the wolves howling at the moon, howling at each other. Um, you both incarnated here, and this is a false matrix all to do with playing with duality. So you are one, but you appear to be two. You both have walls up. This is what the false matrix conditioning, conditioning um, makes us create from birth. Um, but these, this is why you're both going inwards. There's a lot of soul searching. There may be a physical separation, but it's designed right now to make you go inwards and clear this shadow. Yeah, look, the hermit again, going inwards, shining light and uh, discovering truth, liberation from all of these blocks. How do they truly feel about you right now? love potion they're totally intoxicated in this connection it's magical so much is manifesting okay this is a complete new beginning them understanding what true love is um, manifesting deeper levels of this union um so much is unfolding right now between you both sacred love they know how holy this is they absolutely cherish this love this experience they cherish your heart and this is way beyond their wildest dreams. Anything they could have ever imagined. This is so immense, okay? I love you. So they are coming in. They're working on how to overcome any 
blocks or fears about expressing their love. I love you. They are communicating their feelings to you in one way or another. It could be telepathically right now, but they're shooting this arrow of truth towards you. We did have the Ace of Swords as well. So communication coming in. They are the messenger of truth. The truth being, I love you. They're absolutely infatuated. They can't get enough. They love what they see. They are so attracted to you on all levels that it's unbelievable. It's off the charts, okay? And we have gift. They see you as this incredible gift and this experience. They absolutely cherish this, okay, and cherish you. They are coming forward with some sort of gift, some sort of expression, heartfelt expression of their love. Yeah, you are this shelter from all of the turbulence that is going on right now. And huge, huge shifts are taking place. So I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to start off by looking at much more of these messages cards. We're going to look at the divination dice as well, the charms, and pulling messages out of the bag to look really deeply into how they truly feel about you right now, what they really need you to know about their true feelings, and what is going to unfold next between you both as well. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment so i really hope to see you over there if this reading has resonated with you please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that all really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here and i hope to see you over on the extended